guys were the ones who like wanted to be on stream with me. You guys were the ones who were like, yeah, we can do Wizard 101. We just like to play Wizard 101. This is true. I was going to say, we don't go out long with any excuse. Not really Rachel. Rachel like kind of joined us and then I kind of was like, hey, can you like speed run half the game? <laughs> yeah, uh, like we, we barely sucked her into like the surface level of like playing the game. And then well, I was the... interested, but I didn't have anyone to play with because you guys had a full were group. streaming all your content. Yeah. yeah. Right. And we had a full group yeah. party, so. Yeah, that was a pretty big lift to uh, get, uh, you know, through like two worlds in two weeks. Yeah, we, yeah. we appreciate your dedication. We really do. Also, yes, my... it, it will never happen again. No, fair enough. <laughs> it will never happen again. My, yeah, that's oh fair. God. My mana stores Ooh. have decreased, but I have other better things, so it's not a big deal. This just, that just got great power. They got, uh, uh critical. Nice. <laughs> yeah, their first power was shit. It was, like, additional weapons. Like, that's good Ooh. enough. I might love them. Yeah. What's your pet? Uh, this is my improved bellhound, lovely Emma. Ah. <laughs> nice. Funny. Thanks. I, I, was, I was like, all right, hey, I mean, I'm like, you have to level it up for the name. You know, fair enough. I still need to talk to Katie, because I actually have the money now to get a better pet. Yeah. Um. So help me remember to talk to Katie. Yeah. Is Katie in, in the room with you right now? Yeah. Nice room. Next she, she hides while we're streaming. That's Can't imagine why. We are delightful. I mean, she was so on the stream for a while. Yeah. Do you think she's going to go back or is Rachel just new here for like forever? I don't know. I don't care. I mean, it's fine with me either way. I don't know. Valid. Real quick for astral spell, adding astral spells to our decks. Mm -hmm. just, can you use astral spells? I like, I. Can you use them on other people, like your teammates? No. Those no, spells are unique to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Not even Amplify? Not even Amplify. Yeah. Damn. And okay. I think my deck is looking pretty good. It's mostly buffs and stuff. Um, actually, let me... I'm not going to be doing any attacking. Let me just redo my deck so I can make sure nobody dies. Um... The game is like, why are you oh, removing all of your yikes. spells from your deck rapidly? What's up? Uh, remember that trip that I said was happening? Yeah. To the archives? Yeah. Apparently we're going with another class. Oh, that's And nice. that typically, it takes, it take, typically takes from nine to five. Oof, so yeah. It is listed as optional. I <laughs> so mean... I might not go. You do your class thing. What archives is it? The Madison archives. For what class? Uh, for me, it's for Capstone, but we're going with one of the intro classes. Oh. Um, the idea is we could get more. Act, we can act, get access to other databases. But the thing yeah. is, like, I already have so many sources, and I'm supposed to be halfway through writing my draft at that point. Right. I'm yeah. not sure if I'm gonna want new sources. You know, that's valid. <laughs> yeah, no, like it it can be worth it depending on the cost. Like I took a trip to uh got an archive in Chicago for uh my medieval manuscript. I was like, where are you getting Nope. No. Okay, so our medieval manuscript just sounds like a class I would take with you. Yeah, uh, it does. It's like it's that sounds like a racial class. That could have been a class you were in. It sounds like a class I wish I could have taken. Right. Like, True. it was a cool class. You would have enjoyed it. <laughs> it's like, vague recollection. Take that with Rachel. Maybe. Okay, I am um, by the dungeon and ready anyway, to go in class. when you guys are. And we got to go to the archives and look at, like, actual medieval manuscripts. Nice. Mm -hmm. Which they pulled out, which was so cool. Uh, uh, so I got a question for you guys. Should I bring along yeah. any attack spells or just buff stuff? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna be buffing dad the whole time. Anyway. Yeah, so like currently my deck is all buff and healing. Um, I should probably actually bring... 
because Seder is good. It's good uh -huh. for, like, instant healing, but I want to bring along... Can I use this other deck that I have? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Um, I wanted to bring along Helping Hand. Do you want me to have my back set up for, like, a secondary attack if you need it? You probably should. Oh, for sure. And I'm I bringing, have a couple um, scarecrows in here. Charles, I'm bringing some accuracy buffs for you. Great. I have, I have also improved my accuracy. Okay, last. then oh, yeah. I will bring along less and bring along more healing spells. Okay. Uh, I'm standing by Bruce Priest Tower if you have one port. We're oh, I'm also at Bruce Priest yeah. Tower. Crap. You're the, only, you're the only one in the wrong realm. Look. Um, I ran there. I was waiting. Y'all were talking about your deck. I just didn't want to work <laughs> Valid. Where is Sitter? There it is. Um. So currently, my deck is Sater, Spirit Armor, Balance Blade, Blade Storm, Donate Power, Elemental Diffuse, Helping Hands, Hex, Precision, Amplify. I need to put Amplify in. I'm bringing Spirit Blades, some Shields, a uh, Spirit Trap. I'll bring more traps. Elemental Blade. Elemental shields, and then, um, and elemental traps. All right. Should I? I've got faint curses, uh, and then plague and should I shield spirit blade on the theory that I should focus on things that don't cost hits? Yeah, I think it's up yeah. to you. Yeah. I'll take out Spirit Blade. Yeah, especially I can, I can bleed. bleed you, hopefully. Yeah, and also, I mean, the theory, Emma, what's Gilroy this new mount? Do. What's this new mount you haven't mentioned? Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> I I bought a new mount because I was like, fuck it, I have crowns now. I mean, it's and a so very I cool a mount. mount. I, I was like, it fits with the aesthetic. It does. Sorry, I just had to bring that up. It does. I think I'm Rachel and I it. are more over here doing, um, well, Rachel's attacking. I am bringing purely buff spells. Should I put oh, one I'm purely buff? I have two scarecrows in just to have something. Yeah. Yeah. I think I will bring along one Pyro Nova just in case. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm pure buff. Okay. Cool. And we go. In we go. Onwards. Woo. Woo. I do love that that was a solid. A little bit nice. Oh, I should open up Twitch on my phone. Lead, Rachel. Oh, wait. I, I love Baron Whisperwind just standing Please here. Oh. <laughs> I was Sorry. so confused for I thought, a sec. I thought there, I thought oh, there was a fight. He's warning, right? You come in alone. Same. Like, you need people. Oh, you oh, need yeah. he, he's like, you'll never do it alone. Yeah. yeah. That's, his, that's his thing. Gotcha. I could not figure out what to do with Darren. You will die. Slowly yeah. and horribly. Ugh, sorry, I just had a big sneeze off. I muted myself, but big sneeze happened. Oh, yeah, you do have Who's a new pet, type? Charles. Who's the new pet? I do. It's actually, I traded it for my... Uh, Epic wizard. For my, yeah, death wizard. Ah. I got it. So what I does this it. pet do? Um, yeah, it mostly just kind of boosts stats, but it does give me more damage. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe I gave it uh, accuracy gem. Valid. Uh, it's so just very strange to see you not with Young Boomer. I gotta be honest. I know. I renamed this pet Lil Boomer. Ah, uh, yes, we love Lil Boomer. <laughs> That's a great name. Lest you were afraid, you were missing out on the the Boomer jokes. We mm. always need a Boomer in the party. Uh huh. So Emma and I have begun the very exciting process of looking for apartments. 
Yes. Ooh. Yes, we have. Which, to be fair, is just me sending Emma a lot of apartments that I've seen because I'm, I'm like, I'm like the first check through. I find places and I'm like, is this a good location? I look through and it has all the things that we want. And I'm like, well, it will be an hour long commute. Well, that's lovely. Yes. This is right. Yeah. Truth. Oh, Gilroy, you got a new wand? Uh, yes. This is the one I think I picked up from the Malister fight. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's cool looking. Yeah, the thing I got from the Malister fight was a set of life armor. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I can't use that. Yeah. Uh, Charles got a great myth ring. Nice. <laughs> so helpful. Super Very useful. Helpful. You did get good stuff from that fight. I just did, uh, didn't, just didn't get anything get in my own school. And that seems yeah. like a horrible dungeon to farm. Yeah. Yeah, you would need you would need four people. Right? Yeah. So you can't go back and just like do it yourself. Especially since we're mm-hmm. gonna be farming waterworks really soon anyways. Right. Yep. Yeah. Going I did uh I did do a little bit more of Grizzleheim, so I'm up to Ravenstar now. Nice. Uh-huh. We should probably figure out what quest we're on so that we can tell you. Um, yeah. I mean you said something about a boat, so I kinda know what to look out for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we we've already met Grandmother Raven. Don't know who that is. Exactly. So when you meet her, you'll know you're close. She's God. Don't worry. About yeah, it. she's God. She's kind of a bitch. Aren't all gods kind of bitches? Yeah. Yeah. You don't really have a reputation for being one of us. True. I just realized Rachel wasn't there. I um. I uh, was talking with my friends on, like, Monday night or something. Um, or, no, it was after stream last night. And I, I was talking to them, and I dumped Wizard 101 lore on them for, like, a 20 minutes. <laughs> nice. We're yeah. glad we've been fine. Been... What were you saying, Rachel? I didn't hear what Emma said. Oh. I just said we we're glad we're playing we play with your mind. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I have another we're friend. Glad we're playing with your mind too, Rachel. Truth. Well, it's pretty I'm nice. Dad might feel a little guilty. Yeah. Bad conscience and all. It's yeah. fine. One of my other friends, uh, my friend Captain Collateral, who's sometimes in chat, um, he and his brother played Wizard One when they were little, and they were a storm wizard life duo, I think. Nice. Well, that would be a pretty good duo. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. talking about how they got to Celestica. Oh. No, not Celestica, sorry. World 11 before they stopped? I just don't know what world that is. World 11. Um, so, Fire is Dragon's Fire. The problem is that new worlds have come out. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, Grizzleheim and Sulkar and Mysteria right. intervene in the order of what later. This yeah. Is true. No, no. The time they were in world, though, I'm pretty sure they were out. Yeah. yeah. Look at the doggo! Also, I love how the, the animation glitches on the ceiling. Like, the, 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 the foggy glitches through the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, golden grapes. I got a pet snack. Oh. Okay. It just, I just got automatically sucked into that fight. Me too. Yeah, well, I think if you finish it fast enough, you can pick up the health boost. Mm. So there's kind of a uh, a rush premium on, on finishing quickly. Yeah, gotcha. That's fair. Very fair. Also, Rachel, I don't know if you've been able to smell it, but the air in our college town has been awful the last two days. Oh, I have not. I mean, I haven't I've been outside much in the past two days. Valid. I can literally taste it, um, but I'm also super sensitive to that kind of stuff. It's absolutely Here's because we're having a little temperature warm. doing all of the reading that I was supposed to be doing over the past three weeks. Valid. In an attempt, I'm, I'm attempting to speed run all of my research in the next <laughs> week or so before the outline is due. Um, and two, I have a cold. 
fair enough, yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, no, I mean, I've only really seen it. I've been doing a lot of walking around campus because I've been going to class and I've been doing research every morning, like going to the lab. So I've been having to walk around campus for that. And it's like, oh boy, I can taste the smell and it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Tell you the research oh. that it's a smile or not. I'm telling like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, here's my thing. I, I'm not really a science person. It just doesn't, it's not super interesting. Like, it's interesting, it's just very complicated, and I don't Fair. enjoy it. But, yeah. I will say, the process of research sounds a lot nicer in the fact that, like, it's it kind of goes step by step more. When you're doing research in, like, a humanities thing, there's a lot of, like, I don't know what I'm looking for, so I need to open this book and skim through the entire thing, find out if it even has the information I need, read that section more in depth, get more questions, repeat the process over and over again. That's what the beginning stages of research is, like when you're still like developing your thesis, That's what, it's like that with the papers, which oh, I think is yeah. much shorter <laughs> of a process. Well, and in fairness with science, um, you can literally be in a position where you're like, this is a thing. But I don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I don't mean to say that like science is easy or something like that. I'm just saying that like it's the process, process sounds a little bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, unless you're in like, synthesis. Is, synthesis have, you, have you seen the my favorite science study of all time, which was used to debunk a bunch of other studies? Nice. Where they they put dead salmon into an MRI machine, <laughs> as you do, and, as you do, right? And prove that. If you put a dead salmon into an MRI machine, you get positive results in relation. Like the MRI machine claims that dead salmon can sense human emotion. Oh, this seems unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> Only well, that's the point, right? That like if it, it's obviously not true right yeah so that means that our methodology is flawed yeah right yeah. the statistics we're looking at are not actually effective in determining Emotion. what we think they are also charles gg and all the crits tonight yeah like Damn. that's two in like 17 minutes what is your crit chance uh, i don't know if it's that high though I'll, I'll look and see. Oh, we found our first mini boss. Yeah, okay. it's this guy. Mm -hmm. We have to kill the minion before they get four pips or they won't shot us. Got it. So is that what we have to do? Yeah, he'll, he'll summon a minion this round, I think. Or the next round. And then if the min gets four pips, it drops a pyro nova with like a bajillion points and it just kills you in one shot. I mean pyro nova only does base six fifty. It's a cheat, not a actual uh, okay. pyro nova. I was gonna say, yeah. Allow me to assert that whatever spell it casts, it doesn't matter what the base spell <laughs> you know, is. Fair enough. I know that I've died bullshit. from it before. Yeah. Yeah. I was I, here's the thing. I was doing this quest and <laughs> it was um, I had been doing a bunch of like low level quests, um, side quests to just fill up. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and then the first four levels of this are pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Um, so it lulled me into this false sense of security. So I was like multitasking and not really looking at my screen. I was just popping my head up. Oh, click on the card and go back to what I was doing. So the first two times that I fought this guy. I wasn't actually looking at the screen Valid. when they one shot me. Valid. So I just went like, wait, hold on, I'm dead? What's <laughs> happening? I had to go look up the boss. It's very understandable. Alright. Well, should I just try to kill him? Yeah. Yeah, um... I, I, ooh, I, have, I have another blade for you, Charles. Just in case yeah. you don't get him. If it doesn't get it one shot, there's one for another. Yeah. He never summoned any minions. 
maybe, I don't know how many rounds it is. It's when you're doing it solo, it's enough time to summon a minion, but maybe right. not. When you're doing you need it many rounds to get the pips. Yeah. yeah. Bad buffs. No, Charles, you're just here to murder. <laughs> summon God. Ooh, critical. He. Two, two attacks in a row. Dang. I, I have like a 3% chance, so. <laughs> wow. No, we expect you to critical every time now. <laughs> the expectation now is unlimited. Yep. True. Sometimes. Ooh, is that a better uh, deck? I got a fire deck. I can't use. Me too. Yeah, it's I guess he drops it for everyone. Yeah, I need to. I need to get a better deck. That's why I looked at it because my deck kind of sucks. Like I, I can get a lot of the same spell, which is nice, but it's still not many like total spell slots. Well. So. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just the, the cycle of blades. Yep. We all blade, they all blade. This is true. It's the it's the never ending cycle of Wizard 101. Yep. Indeed. I love how they're giving each other the wrong kind of blades. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part. <laughs> it's like they're just wasting pips. Yeah. Sometimes that's just life, though. Also, Charles, I have another blade coming for you. Great. I use it. Ye. Ye. Hazel is washing her feet in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I came home. Uh, yeah. I came home. Um, I think it was after my math class but before lunch, and I walked in, and Hazel was taking a bath, and she was absolutely scandalized that I came back to the room when she was taking a bath. <laughs> Which, I guess, because on Monday I just went to research afterwards, but I just came back to my room because. I was feeling very overstimulated and needed a break. And she Fair. was like, Leaf, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> it was rather funny. Yeah, respect that uh, cat's personal space. Uh, wow. Yes, but it's our shared living space. Apparently it's not as shared as you thought. Yeah, I Just guess say. not. Or she's used to her time alone in the living space. Yeah, you're not giving her enough me time. As I'm gone for many hours a day. And you did barge in while she was dating. That's a little bit crazy. Okay, yes, but she was the one doing it in the middle of the room. Where else is she supposed to do it? She, she's got the one room. She does have the one room, but she has many places to perch. She usually doesn't give herself a bath on the ottoman in the center of the room. Not while you're there. No, sometimes while I'm there. Yeah. He... Oh yeah, how is the basil doing? He's good. That's good. Yeah. I think he's in the other room with his beloved. That tracks. That that sounds like him. For anyone who's curious, um, Basil really likes Emma's mom. Yes. My dad is losing to it. It's not even close, really. Yeah, it's, Dog. it's not. Hilarious. Yeah. Would be embarrassing, except uh, it was never a pair. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay, who wants Pips? Should I give Pips to Kestrel or Charles? Because these guys have storm resist. Um, yeah, give me just one. Okay, have yeah, two sure. pips, Emma. Cool. That's actually really helpful because I'm usually one pip short when Dad cat. Yep. Yeah, this is why I brought the the donate pip thing. So I figured that would be useful for this dungeon. 
Yeah. I, I find it really hilarious that you can get, like, astral spells that let you kill your minions for pips. Classy. Yes. Yeah. Sacrifice or something. Yeah. Also, Bloodscar says hello. What? He says it hello specifically to me, but I'm telling you guys he is saying hello. Hello, Bloodscar. Oh. <laughs> hello, Bloodscar. Hello, Bloodscar. Cool. Hello. We have to cool in. Yeah. He, he's, he's a cool guy who comes to my streams a lot. Cool. Um, Emma, are you casting this turn? Or are you waiting another? I am, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll cast Amplify first. No, I don't need Amplify. Okay, I will... I'll cast it to back up. Yeah. yeah. Then I will just... Well, you just um... put a shield on. X. Oh, there's the one with the shield on, I guess. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah
We do some Chinese. Yeah. We do some Thai. Yeah. When Emma's not here, we do pizza. Because she's a pizza kid. She's not a hater. She's just picky. She and I had pizza when I visited. I know. And I liked that pizza. It was good pizza. It was good pizza. What what did we get? Leaning Crap Tower pizza. Uh Also, I would like to tell you that Bloodscar says things cost money in this economy. No way. I know. It's just a little surprising. He... I don't know. I've only ever really had pad thai and pizza takeout. Um, I don't eat takeout too much. I mean, I will say that in the location that you live, there is less takeout options. This is true. Mm -hmm. The pho place that I like has takeout. I just don't get takeout pho. You could. Mm -hmm. I could. My... They also took back in high school, and my dad lived in the city. We would do takeout a lot, and there are a number of good places like right across the street. But then he moved out. He retired and moved out of the city, and there's like one good restaurant uh, for takeout. Well, it's Mexican. It's pretty solid, but it's also just like the eh. one. It's also not. No, there are other restaurants. They're just between allergies and. Oh, and is this the boss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, Bloodscar does have a controversial in. question. He wants to okay. know our opinion on pineapple pizza. Oh. Um. No, thank you. So, Not a fan. I personally yeah. like pineapple and pizza when the pineapple is, like, on the top so it can dry out and it's not as juicy. Because I don't like the hot juice, but I like the sweetness it gives you. I'm just not a huge fan of pineapple in general. That's fair. I'm okay with pineapple, I'm but I also don't like it with pizza. pineapple on pizza. Primarily, so this guy has favorite. cheats. Uh, just a yeah. reminder. Yeah. What are his cheats? I can uh, look at them. My mother is insisting that it is. We need to hear the cheats. Sorry. Cheats. Um. If a trap is placed on him, he will use cleanse ward to remove one trap on himself. Noticed. Um, yes. He just did that. <laughs> Prisms and mass traps such as Windstorm do not trigger this. Uh, this cheat can be dispelled or prevented with indemnity. What is indemnity? On round four, I don't know. If we indemnity don't know it, it's probably not like useful. It's like a card that you, you know, it's like an enchant that you put on another card ah, that prevents okay. the trap or a blade from being. Yeah. Yeah, okay. On round four, he'll interrupt with meteor strikes. Um, and then again, when he uh, drops below 4,000 health. Okay. okay. So we just uh, one shot. So if I put a faint on him, that's not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, that's technically nope, a trap. get removed. What we should probably do is save up an all attack on the same turn. Unless you're going to kill him now, Charles. Um, I-, I don't know what spell that was. No, I'm, I'm going to put a windstorm on him. Uh, for the, uh, okay. For the mass. Crap and see if it sticks. Yeah. Well, Rachel said it should, uh, so. There's more. Oh, mass traps should stick. Yeah. Um, every three rounds, while his health is above 4,000 or below 2,000, he will interrupt and cast, cast an enhanced version of Heckhound on the wizard that is the greatest threat. How do we um, determine the greatest threat in this situation? Because that's coming this turn. Should I try to. Uh, Currently, probably me, just because I'm first and no one's done anything yet. Yeah, um... <laughs> I'll bleed you one more time, Charles. Excuse me. There's more. There's one more. There's one more. last page of cheats. It's really oh, annoying. Here we go. This seems oh, it's bad. just this one. Okay. It is enhanced. Oh, enhanced. True. Well, I can heal you. Enhanced is bad. Enhanced is always bad. Yeah, I can heal you. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that's bad. That, that is bad. Yeah. All right. I can give you a helping hand, which will give you healing every round. Will he interrupt? He will interrupt. Okay, so faint is useless. Yeah. Darn. Yeah. 
Um, worse than useless because you were trapped now, and it's in a Yeah. I'll, I'll heal you next yeah. round, Rachel. Thanks for pointing that out, Emma, yeah. Sorry, that was probably not helpful. <laughs> Unless I just you just killed the witch. The wound there. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's a lot of blades. That might just kill him. That was pretty good. That's more than I Okay, not quite. Oh, not quite. But his health isn't below 2,000. Yeah, okay, so... I think so... most of these... Dang. Rachel, would you prefer oh, a spirit arm or a helping might summon hands? Me. Uh, I can't... I'm not getting any attack. Probably spirit armor. Yeah, I'll give you spirit armor so we can go through that, and then I will give you the helping hand when I have the pip. I'm hand. aware this is going to come right off, but I'm literally just trying to get it out of my deck. Well, you can't delete? I don't have my mouse. Oh. Emma, you don't need your mouse to delete. He I might. Do. Yeah, you do. I think he might summon minions this round. That is unfortunate. It'll take a minute for them to become active, but. Because I want a crappy Mac, and so you can have your opinions about Mac, but it doesn't have a right click button. I mean, yeah. you, if you use both fingers on your trackpad, it should count as a right click, but. It doesn't count as a right click. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna steal his. How do you spirit trap? Will that? What will that do? Will he dispel all of them or just one of them? I don't know. I'll find out. I'm gonna steal his blade. Nice. I have no use for a death blade, but. <laughs> oh, I should pay more attention to this. Oops. To what? Oh well. If I die, I'll reshuffle my deck and I have some ice armor that I can throw in. Okay. From an amulet. Right. Okay, so only that rose one. Yeah. So, cool. what's the uh, order yeah. of the um, elemental traps? Is Storm the first elemental trap that goes that down? Oh, I'm gonna kill them all. Cool. Great. Um, I will give you an accuracy buff. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna guess that might But, you know, it sounds cooler if I say I'll kill them all. Yeah. It'll be even cooler if you say it and then do it. I uh, know. Like Who's he attacking? Oh, right. that's not good. Oh, dear. But we should be able to kill him before it does any damage. Well, you have a uh, weakness for a play. Yeah. Oh, is he below 2,000? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is an issue. Yeah, that's gonna... It's he's gonna, gonna get a bunch of stuff now. No, he's not gonna take our blades. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's good he didn't take our blades. That would have been really bad. That, that would have been yeah. a catastrophe. All right. Get him. Yeah, you get want him. to clothe and revile her but for exactly that reason. Yeah, fair enough. Doggy! Doggy commit I mean, murder! I thought, what is his name? Jekyll Solo. And he steals you your blades Jekyll as Solo? well as he's... Nice. I mean, nice. I was like level 53. At, I was level like 53 at that point, That's so fair. it wasn't... Also, GG, guys. Hey! Cool. Nice! What, what what is the ju what is the ring that I got? The other is covered with hieroglyphics. Jewel, oh, that's actually really nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that. That's actually better than my that, current like, ring. All of that wasn't even the quest. The quest was talk to this one guy who's at the top of the tower <laughs> and get and get 285 experience. <laughs> oh, is he is he oh, alluding fire, to? Um, the the nothing. We earned a badge, though. We yes, did earn a badge. Yeah. But was he alluding to the nothing as the first place the nothing shows up, Croctopia? No. I think it's uh, lower, upper and lower zigzag. Okay. So we did that. Cool. Um, are we headed to Celestica? Yeah. Okay. Is there a reason why you call it Celestica? Isn't that its name? Celestia. It's Celestia. Oh. 
Celestia or Celestia? Tia. Yeah. Celestia. Oh no. What is my reading comprehension? I don't, I don't know. know. It's, it's because Celestia. It's because I didn't. Celestia. It's called I'm really Celestia. bad at pronouncing the names. It took me weeks to learn how to say Aquila correctly, as Emma can attest to. Right, Emma? Yes, that, that is that is correct. No, I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was just an intentional thing or just a I'm not reading this right closely kind of thing. Definitely the second. Ooh, that's cool armor. So we all have defeat crustaceans, I think. Yes. Yes. Defeat crustaceans. As I do with Akila. Because like right, my class this brain is like, no! Oh, don't pronounce this very <laughs> Valid. Like, whatever. Celestia is the place name, and I, I, I... But, like, people butcher Greek and Roman words so often, but it's, like, an inbred response at this point. No, it's fair. Celestia just makes me think about Princess Celestia from My Little Pony. Ah. Uh, Which I don't really associate with Wizard 101. Fair. <laughs> Can't imagine why not. They're just slightly different. Just a bit. Just a tiny bit. We got like no experience from that quest, by the way. I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, you climb that whole tower, you fight the big boss with all the cheats, and then your real quest is talk to some guy. He also, I'm by the crustacean claw cutters, if you guys want to port to me. Cool. Uh, I'll you. Gilroy and I are cool. We have matching mouths. Hello. We. Yeah, we have matching brooms. And we're about to have matching houses as soon as we finally get around to finally reach Elder. I'm putting the broom on. I'm above that. I'm I am yeah, not you guys are allowed to be cool. Just neither of us have crowns. Maybe I should get them, but I'm not, not gonna... I'm most sure off the eagle today. Fair. Maybe if they... Oh, I probably should update my deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to kill time and kill two more, I think. Show up anyways, yeah. yeah. Excuse me. I need to update my deck, too. Valid. Valid. Yeah. Oh, here are two more guys. Oh, that's them casting that. I was yes. like, wait, did Charles just try and kill him on the first round? <laughs> <laughs> did Charles try to kill you on the first round? Is Charles the <laughs> sussy imposter of this friend group? I, I didn't write it didn't I register did that they were trying to kill me until it actually hit. And I was like, oh, that's the enemy. Okay. Valid. Also, I don't think Charles has ever cast that spell, or if he has, it's been a long time. It's a storm spell. He probably has cast it. Yeah. It was just it's just probably been a while. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that Charles is going for the storm spell against the storm guys. Why not? Fair enough. You know, they're not bosses, they don't have that much or I hope they don't have Well, yeah, what are their swords, by the way? Like they look like coat hangers. What swords? The 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 enemies? Oh. Or the spears? Yeah, they're Two spears. No, I, I only saw, like, the head, and it looked like he was just very awkwardly holding a sword. It's like some kind of a pike. Makes yeah. sense. It's a serrated pike of some kind. Ouch. Yeah, that did not look like something I want to get stabbed with. Mostly because it would be very hard for them to remove it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the point. Uh, yeah, I feel like at some point, maybe like when I was into the like thing. trying to create a DD character or something. But like I looked up medieval weapons and stuff like that, and some of those, sh some of that stuff is just ugh. yeah, fair no. enough. There's weapons where you're like, well, that looks like it is designed to uh, hurt open a lot up. of pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, really disturbing really efficiently. I mean, to be fair, those look more like throwing spears so that they get caught in you and you can't get them out. No, there's That's no way better. to a spear. I don't know. But yeah, the weight on that would be pretty 
entirely different. Yeah. Well, just just looking at the shape of the sphere, though. True. It would well, be good to throw it. We are underwater, so True. it's kind of like a harpoon, I guess. It's got to be a stabbing weapon. Plus, the serrations wouldn't work properly on a throwing spear. You need it to be a stabbing weapon. Yeah. Okay. I need to redo my deck really quick. Uh, so I can actually do damage. That's just you, a little bit yeah. important. Do you have more to fight, sir? That's all no, I have wait. to do. I'm on the wrong quest line. One sec. Valid. Sorry. It was um when I finished Chris Freeze, the, the quest that it gave me up to. I'm by, I'm by the guy. Cool. Wait there. I need to put in blades and shit. And I'm gonna port to Gilroy. Gilroy is for some reason in pink, unlike the rest of you losers. Gilroy is special. Apparently. I'm sorry. You're cooler than the rest Wait, of what? us. Oh, in the list? In the list. I have Kestrel and Quinn are in pink and Charles isn't. Yeah, so you're you're the only one in pink for me, and I don't know why. Odd. Oh, I'm mixing okay. hex. I'm like, know. what is the other Your basic Optio spell I'm missing here? Agonor? Yeah, Optio I Yeah, Agonor. I'm there. Wait, don't I need to I yeah. still need to talk to the guy. Don't move from him yet. Oh, too late. Bitch. I mean, you can teleport to me and then just go back down the path. This is true. I'm just I'm redoing yeah. my spells deck. Let me give me give me a second. Let me do spells. Stay tuned for more A plus streaming content. Yeah, of me redoing, reorganizing my deck for the second time this stream. Exactly. We're learning. We're learning live. We're learning live how to organize a support deck in Wizard One Hundred and One. Yeah. Um, this probably isn't going to be the greatest, but it'll work for now because I'm not doing damage anyways. There. I'll just go talk to him. He's not actually that far away from me. So, I, I want you all to know that it's really good that this is a minor throwaway character. Because my, my absolute and uh, just embarrassing nerd would come up. Because there is a Silmarillion character called Ignore. A E mm -hmm. G N O R. That sounds familiar. Right, I don't remember who he is. Right, of course. I'm Wait, here. really? Yeah. Oh, Finrod. Okay. Finrod. God, dude, there's 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 so many branches of that family, and they all have names that start with F. They, they, they're they're all, they're all, I cannot keep track of all of them. Something like there are like twenty of them. But it, 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 is it's one of them Finn yeah. from and, Finn and Most Jake. of them have two Adventure different time. names. Yeah. <laughs> At least, at least. Get to my Wait, what is his name. accent? Is he French? Maybe. I don't know. It sounded like a very bad French accent. Anyway, I just wanted to say that Tolkien had many, many fine qualities. His naming conventions were not especially clear. Valid. Well, his his naming conventions were, I feel like, more historically accurate and reader friendly. That is true. True. His name conventions were really interesting on a lore and meta textual level. They are yes. less useful if you are attempting to read it for you know entertainment purposes as a book. True. Also, I would like to point out that the guy who was in the second slot that we're fighting, Big Vendel from Troll Hunters Energy. You're not wrong. <laughs> this is how I imagine uh, Athena disguised Odysseus at the end of the Odyssey. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I appreciate that I can get a laugh from that joke in this group. Like, I haven't read the Odyssey or the other one. The, the Iliad. Iliad. The Iliad. The other one. Yeah. The Odyssey and the other one. They're famous. I mean, <laughs> the other, other one. Is probably the level that most people are at. Yeah. 
To be TBH, the most I know about Odyssey is Mario Odyssey. <laughs> so why did they attack me? All I've done is blade and trap people. <laughs> I suppose I trapped him. Um, yeah, thank you, lovely Jasmine. Don't pretend like you're innocent. <laughs> you're fattening him up for the slaughter. He knows it. Okay, so here, here is a meta question about this game. So, obviously, we, as wizards, are combat-based wizards. Do all high-level wizards, even if they aren't combat-based, combat, combat based, get, like, increasing hit points? Like, is every wizard, like, have a super high con mod in this game? Or is that just combat wizards? Like, if you were, like, a healer, like, a real healer, where you go to, like, you know... Or, like, just a regular student in our school? Yeah, like, I guess. I... Well, is it that, like, as we get more magic power, our body gets better at, like, passive healing? Is that how HP works? I don't know. Because that would imply that, like, as you get higher and higher level, then yes, you would also get more HP. But is that how it works? Or that's literally just or, a headcanon that I just came up with on this spot. Or this is it because moment. we do so many fights that we're better at taking hits than most students? Like, is, is it like a scar tissue issue? Or like, is it- our wizard is just 50% scar tissue now. I feel like it's way more than 50%. I mean, yes, but I wanted to give room for the rest of the game. <laughs> that's true. Oh, guys, guys, uh, we like- just we just got some this, Wizard One Award la- like one and let la- what with lore in chat. Person person oh. in chat said and keep in mind canonically your characters are normal human from Urtin, not the spiral. So maybe that's how normal humans work when they have magic? True, I don't know. Because Emma, we've talked about this before, and you you said that we were from the spiral. No, it says we're. It, he summons us from outside of the spiral. We've had discussions about this before. I, I, okay. I think it's the outside of the spiral. Emma and I have had disagreements on this. Well, it, it's unclear from the language. I'm by the thing I'm a jigger. Right, like it's unclear from the language used in the opening credit scene. Fair uh, enough. But the fact that they have the name Urton, or it's it's not it, that's not that's not a name ever used. In the game, okay. I think that's a, a typo of uh, Earth. Earth. That would make sense. Okay, they did mean Earth. That makes sense. <laughs> I was just like, that seems like it could be a Wizard One Hundred and One world. It, it does sound like it could be a Wizard One Hundred and One world, <laughs> which is uh, why I believed the, it. The only thing we know is that Ambrose says at the beginning of the game, uh, you know, student with amazing potential, enough perhaps to save Wizard City from a distant world, one that does not even believe in magic. Yeah. Whether or not we're from outside the spiral is never... Well, the thing is, isn't the well, only thing outside the spiral the nothing? That's the thing. The initial opening credits certainly suggest that we're from Earth, right? That's the implication. But then, as the lore develops, there's more and more revealed, and it seems highly unlikely that that's feasible. You can't... Maybe Earth is part of the spiral or else maybe we're from a planet that is Earth-like but not Earth. Yeah. But we can have been drawn from outside the spiral because the spiral is everything in this universe, I think. Okay, so they just there said, in you fact, during some part of the third arc, it confirms you are from Earth, Earth and Earth is not a part of the spiral. We can't- Does it? Okay. I believe that. I'll buy that. I just wait. The third one? Yes. I don't know. That this is what true pixel underscore underscore on Discord is saying. <laughs> all right. I, I don't remember that at all. But also, it's been a while since uh, you played it. But it's also been like years since I've done that part of the world. Because that's, that's the third arc is the grandfather spider arc. And I don't. I feel like that would be a logical place for it to come up. It does seem like a logical place to come up. And it maybe with some of the scion of Bartleby stuff. True. Can, who, who says that? 
Yeah, it's Grandfather Spider. Is he the one who says it? Or, like, who tells you this information? Because that'll tell you if the, if the source is actually trustworthy. That's true. Because if Grandfather Spider... Grandfather Spider doesn't lie, though. Really. True, but if it's someone He's... else, I can see them lying to your wizard. That's true. I don't know. I don't know who conveys that information. Because yeah. I don't remember... A character you haven't that. encountered yet says it. We, say, say the name. We don't care. We... The, so, context, both Emma and Charles have played all of this game. Yes, well, I haven't played, I'm only up to Novus. But you, so you, not, you know the lore. And I don't care about I don't think spoilers. I has been a hot minute, so some of it I have And I don't care about spoilers either. Yeah. The scholar from the Arcanum says it. Oh. Yeah. yeah that, that does make sense. That does make sense. I, I believe that's information that... Like, all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. That sounds legit. Here, so. I listened to the dialogue, but I haven't, haven't watched that section in so, in so long that I don't... True. Have also, it all. Like, I'm by the grotto when you get the prompt for that. Oh, I'm already in the grotto, and I have the quest. It's not a, it's not a dungeon or anything. Oh, okay. It's just a, it's a street. So I'm ready to fight claw station claw carters and collect clues. Specifically, the life more. scholar from the Arcanum. I don't know if I said it was the life scholar or not. Um. Yeah. I I buy that. Um. Because, like, I know we had had discussions before about if your character is or is not bound by the rules of the spiral in terms of their magic. And I know we had and said they weren't. The... I'm not. I know they aren't, but I don't know, like, I didn't remember that part of that was because they're from outside the spiral. I mean, I feel like that makes sense. That's actually really interesting, because I've forgotten that it says that. And that does open up some really interesting questions about how the universe beyond the spiral operates yeah. and what that means about the nothing. Because I sort of part of, I, I guess part of me was just assuming that part of that was because they just weren't part of the magic system of the spiral, but obviously it's not true. Yeah. Plenty of magic can exist within the confines of the spiral that doesn't follow the rules. Yeah, but if we're not from the spiral, that's very interesting that we can just say fuck it and use right. magic however we want to, but we decide to stick with the little <laughs> card games. Which uh, supports uh, my Jason Todd fanfiction of him just punching people and making a new school of magic. Yes. Hell yeah! It also, <laughs> uh, horrifying that lore is actually strengthening your argument. It is, um, it is. Also, are you coming, Emma? Where are you? I, I, I have to run back and talk to the guy. Okay. Like, you have to do a teleporter. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It just took me a minute. I was running. I mean, she was talking. She had a lot to say about the lore. That's fair enough. I love that the lore is supporting my fan fiction ideas. <laughs> I, I'm disturbed, but I okay. accept it. So, context for anybody who wasn't there last time I talked about this, which was like a couple months ago. My fan fiction idea is that, you know, Jason Todd, Robin number two, when he dies, and from comes, Batman. From Batman, yes. When he dies and when he comes back to life, instead of digging okay. himself out of his grave, that's okay. when Merle sees him and summons him to be a wizard. That's, we that's, pulled in our fights. Yeah. Oh, we did? I'll help you, Ryan. Okay. But yeah, that's the lore of my fan fiction. And then it follows with him doing a bit of Wizard City, saying, fuck this, and then starting a gang in Marleybone, I think we decided. Yeah. Um. And then but yeah, there was something about Bart and Khan showing up and being weirdos and like actually following the plot. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Who? Uh, uh but Superboy and Impulse. Superboy oh, number and one. Khan. Yes, I heard Bart and Khan. <laughs> as a single name. Yes, <laughs> I was like. Is this a wizard yeah. character or some niche comic character that I don't remember? <laughs> I, I, I love that like it could be either yes. one. <laughs> I like, know Barton and Khan. Like, just think about it. Yeah, no, that could be either a DC character or a wizard one. Unfortunately, yeah, that is true. But yeah, that, I believe that was my fan fiction, and then we were like, 
Well, Jason obviously wins through the power of using his Robin training and punching people in the face, and he managed uh-huh. to make that a whole new school of magic. It yeah. does beg the question of, do we stay in these circles because that's just proper dual etiquette, or do we stay in these circles because there's some ancient magic that just holds us in place? Uh, I think what and happens... That's, like, the rules of magic. Because they, they can move. They can, like, attack with themselves. I think what happens is nobody has well, taught true. us that we can break the rules of magic. Uh, yeah. That's true. Which is why we're not breaking the rules of magic. Training is that you do get to break some of those rules. Not- yeah. So Which when we when we join the secret cult, you know, maybe that's when we find out that we can break magic. It's not a cult. I don't know how to tell you this. Yeah, I I thought you said it was a cult. It's not a cult. I feel like you mentioned a cult at some point. There is a cult. Should we jump into the other fight? We're not part of it. Do you guys need help? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we use a fourth person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, True Pixel says, I feel like it's voluntarily entering the dual circle. Yeah. 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 Wait, so who's the cult if it's not the Mystic Arcanum or whatever? Um, I mean, there's the Cabal. There, there's a bunch of organizations that could be termed cults. Fair enough. And, like, Is the capitalism of Marleybone a cult? I mean... The capitalism is the problem. It's the imperialism. That is true. <laughs> there's a... Uh... Volcano cult. There is a volcano cult. <laughs> that in uh, uh in Lemuria. Lemuria. Yeah. Then we gotta fight the chicken man. Chicken man. No spoilers. Sorry. We already talked about so much though. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. Where you draw the line. <laughs> Allow me to assure you that that. Did they, they just summon God on us? Fair. They just summoned God. Wow. Rude. That's like the most damage an enemy's ever done to me. Yeah. For guys with 650 yeah. health, which is a lot of damage they're doing. Yeah. So, True Pickles says, I need a minute to talk amongst yourself. That's what he said. And the chicken. <laughs> the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> I love having people who know Wizard 101 lore here. It's great. You know, I love that we, like, periodically get, like, you know... Super into talking about the lore of this children's game. We love the lore of this we children's game We do love here. the lore of this children's game here. Yeah, you know, I do feel like when people are, uh, you know, logging into our stream to, like, talk about Wizard 101 lore, I'm always reminded of... I, I think it's, uh from one of the Marvel movies, but it's just, you must be truly desperate to come to me for help. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) You must be truly desperate to come to me for content. (laughs) I don't think so. I think we have fun here. We do have fun, but like, we're also (laughs) not going to be improving anybody's gameplay. I mean, I feel like we're showing people the parts of the game people might not want to grind to get to. We're at, we're at how not to. Yeah. I mean, we have a good party comp. We haven't lost a single fight so far. We have a good party comp. That's true. We've, we've learned from our mistake. Bye, Mom. I mentioned Leaf to my students today that they were a streamer. They wanted to know what your streamer name was, where you streamed, and if you were famous. <laughs> well, it's... it's I uh... do nothing. <laughs> it's windy yes, underscore uh, it's it is windy underscore 2002 and I stream on Twitch do they consider having 125 followers famous I have no idea I'll ask them <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was saying they're like I, I don't know um, I would not consider I myself not. famous I feel like this is just like the same energy of me hanging out in my room with my friends and we're all just playing video games but yeah yeah, they were extremely disappointed in me. <laughs> you never know. They came up with a name. Like, we had to come up with a name for something, and they came up with a gaming name. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I don't mind you coming up with a gamer name. I live with gamers. <laughs> yes, you do. 
they take over my family room and stream from it. True. And then, of course, they were fascinated and wanted to know everything. So anyway, I thought you'd be excited to know that my students were interested in you. Oh, that's great. And the context, I feel like Katie is the most gamer you live with. We're still getting Emma there. No offense, Emma. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that, no offense taken. I fully accept that I'm... But if a bunch of strange sophomore or 15-year-old boys start commenting on your stream, <laughs> that's you'll know fine. why. Just ignore them. It's Just fine. Them. If people want to show up and watch me stream, that's cool. Also, there's so Skywalk. much dead coral here. It's so sad. Dead coral? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Like, coral that has died? Oh, you're underwater in the game? Yes. Um, yeah. All right. Anyone else finding pieces of coral? Because I'm going far afield. And I not found two. I, I found none because, of course, everybody grabbed the, the yeah. two that I found. Yes, yeah, spawned over here. Oh, I found the boss. You found We're the boss. We're not gonna fight that guy. Yeah. Oh, God. I found Cthulhu. No, Cthul. Yeah, Cthulhu. Nice. Also, the music here is bopping. He's right around the corner, Finn. I think nice. we're both playing with the music off in this this room, which is sad. <laughs> true, it's a bop. I am true. It is a bop. I, I, will turn it it on. I got three, but I don't get quite. I have got. Do you need help? Oh yeah. That's epic. Do you need a, nice. Do you need help, Charles? We'll see. Also, if anyone wants support to me, I'm next to a piece of coral. So I'll part to you. Also, the wingfish. I, I was about to yell dibs. The wingfish <laughs> looks so cool. There's another one across the street too. Yeah, I... like, like these guys are so cool looking. In fairness, I, I haven't gotten. This is my second piece that I'm picking up right now, so valid. Like, I still only have one. There are uh, three pieces. None. One. One. You bounce. No. See the portal. Now we find out how it's true. Now I need to get portal piece. Gaming. I'm getting an ad for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. Fuck that game. Got a few opinions about it, huh? Okay. It's not a bad video game, but compared <laughs> to like what Pokemon used to be, it's bad. What did Pokemon used to be? Pokemon used to be a solid 10 out of 10 with Gen 5 and Gen 6. Well, Gen 5. Gen 6 is like an 8 out of 10. Um, <laughs> which is Pokemon Black and White, which had story, oh. and it was so good. And also Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is also great. Oh, your code is coming along Blood Scar. That's great. I don't know. Nobody else here has played Pokemon, have they? No. Man, yeah, just the phone game. I uh, <laughs> had to draw some Pokemon for my preschoolers today. Ooh, what Pokemon? Uh, they wanted uh, a Pikachu, obviously, because, you know. Yeah. The famous one. Do you, do you know that wanted... female Pikachu have a knot in their tail so that it looks like a little heart? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then they wanted Charizard. Yeah. And Squirtle. And who? Squirtle. Oh, Squirtle was a good good choices. Good choices. Yeah. And then one of them had a, had a Pokemon plushie, which sparked this whole discussion. Ooh, what plushie was uh, it? Is... Do we have to go into the Yield Cave? Yeah. I'm, I'm still missing two pieces of coral. Fair enough. But yeah, Yield Cave is where we're going next. What was the Back plush? In the... Uh, uh, I don't know what the plushie was of. Can you describe it? It was a, a sea serpent. It was blue. Did it have like it a big a, circle like mouth? A unicorn horn in the middle of its forehead. But like the little nubbling of a unicorn. Little nubbling of a really unicorn dark, horn yeah. on a sea serpent. It was blue, like 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 a blue blue or like a green blue. Like a purple. Like a Perry. purple blue. Huh. I'm googling this. And like your notes? It's oh, not oh, a oh, 
Did, was, it a, did, uh, was it a dragon air? Did it have like little wings and it, did it have a white belly? It had a white belly. It had, didn't have wings. Like on like Hermes wings on its ears. Yes. Yes, that's dragon air. Dragon air. Yeah. That's actually I really like Dragon Air. Um that's the pre evolution of Dragon Knight, which is the big orange dragon. Oh okay, I still don't have all of them. Okay. I'm looking around for some stuff for you. Yeah, I, okay. we should probably help. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I don't I don't know how I got this lost, but I'm I'm <laughs> Are you still okay, in Celestia? Emma? I don't know. Did you did you manage <laughs> to go to another world? Water. Does anyone else oh, find Emma, it funny that the world named Celestia, aka like Celestial, is underwater? Truth. Emma, poor to I me. I found hilarious. you a piece of coral. No. Was it always underwater, though? No, it wasn't. It used to be part of like a star vault sort of thing, right? Yeah. Emma, poor. Yeah, here you go. There you go. Yeah, that's three. Three, and then there was one. Oh, there's one over here, Emma. Hang on. I'm, I'm going. And four. All right. We got it. Nice. We it. Hell yeah. Cool. And you go talk to the guy and meet us at the grotto. Okay, come on. Yeah. What, were, what were we talking about? We were talking about preschoolers and Pokemon. Rachel, yes. Charles, do you guys have a favorite Pokemon? I have no knowledge of Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Gengar. Good choices. Sorry, I like. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, but I'm probably not gonna sneeze. So, there. Oh, that's uh, the worst. Now my nose has been really weird all day. I think it's because of the the air. Um, the last two days. Right. I'm fascinated by the fact that your your favorite Pokemon is apparently something that first of all did you answer that quickly, and second of all, that like I I. Did not know that this was a thing. <laughs> you don't know what Gengar is? No, I mean I think I don't recognize. He's a big friend. I'm looking it up. Big um, buzz, yeah. He's a big purple ghost type. Well, ghost okay. poison. Oh, maybe I do know who this is. Oh, so we need to fight these uh, guys, don't we? I think so. Oops. Select portal. Oh god. Oh god. How do I oh no, I'm definitely just in I thought I was going to the side where they wouldn't be and then it was well, like fine. Nope. we can just fight them. These well, guys look like the the eels from the little mermaid. <laughs> they do. Like oh the genuinely like line for line. Okay. Yeah. I recognize it even if I don't know the name. Yeah. <laughs> Gengar's a cool guy. He has a unique <laughs> mega evolution, um, which gives him like is cool. And then he also has a unique guy gig- gig- max form. Okay. Stop roasting me. <laughs> Katie, oh. who's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Ask Katie who her favorite Pokemon is. Katie, who's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> well, Alright, we'll give us a short list. Give us your number one. <laughs> Mimikyu, she says. Fair enough. I mean, we know that's Emma's favorite. Yeah. Uh, Evie and all its evolves. What was the other one, Katie? Yeah. Tinkaton. Tinkaton is pretty great. Tinkaton has a giant hammer. Uh, Oshawott is the first starter uh, she ever used. Oshawott is a good boy. He's a good little otter. Oh, he's also one of the Gen 5 starters, so you know he's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you just have a weakness for Gen 5. Yes, Generation 5 is my nostalgia generation. But I can also admit that it's one of the better generations Pokemon has had. And that's not just nostalgia blindness. Um... Oh, oh, there's like... It does slap. I'm gonna go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Gazoon tight. I had a quiz the other day and the teacher was gone, so they had someone else proctor for it. 
this person just walks in like hand like explains things hands out the quiz and then sits down at no point does she actually introduce herself so i have no idea what her name is <laughs> but i sneezed and then she was like she said salud and then gazoontite and then bless you no nice. it was like three different Covering the, covering the spectrum now. True, also I'm back. Bye. Welcome back. Did you miss our resident conversation about sneezes? Valid. How do we collect the portal piece? I'm assuming there's a puzzle. Oh, the puzzle that's literally right behind us. Yes. We just, should we just light all the obelisks? I think we light it Sun, in star, star moon. on the moon order. So, it so was... somebody do that. Star, star, sun, moon. Should I hit moon here? No, sun, sun, and now you can hit moon. Also, it's really weird seeing the default player like swim animation. Because I like. Not... There it is. Yeah, okay. there we go. Wait for, we, we wait for it to respond. Oh, do you have to wait? Oh, Oops. I got it. That's a really annoying mechanic when you're in a group. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. I, I do wish that they would set up a you can link your quests outside of dungeons. That would be nice. Yeah. Or like, even just in like sigiled areas. I feel like that would be a pretty. Is the slowest and who therefore always loses out on the draw. Like, I am literally. Always the fourth person sitting here. Truth. Mm. Um, I just think it's wrong. I've seen a lot of money at a better internet connection. Than yeah. I noticed that you're the second slowest. <laughs> because I'm unwilling to do the two things I just mentioned. Truth. I feel like what it, um, I feel like it would be pretty easy to make the quest link like you do in dungeons just for any sigiled area. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not a coder, but... Yeah. Yeah. I know how to do yeah. a little bit of coding. I guess the R. logistics... I'm trying to think about the logistics of linking people up in general. True. Um, so we're going to be careful, because we might accidentally run into a boss at this fight. I'm also by the crustacean pincers. Oh, I'll port you. So oh, wait, no, I I'm not. I, I have to go for it. What was that, Carl? That you could link people when they, you know, when you form a group in the game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now well, it's you have to pick, adventuring party. Maybe pick, like, the person, if people didn't automatically have the same quest line. True. Because there's so many quests, so many little itty-bitty quests, where it's like, go talk to the guy. Truth. Um, also, I, I feel am, like they'd I leave am a by mechanic. the guys I'm really close. Or maybe it just gives you the, like, pick a group leader and it gives you their arrow. That would be um, nice, yeah, yeah but... Mm -hmm. And then even if they're they're not showing you the quest, then at least you can follow everyone. Cool, let's go. Right. The way going. Are we all here? This way. Alright. After we fight these guys, we want to be done for the night. Probably, yeah. Because I need to go, like, you know, prepare myself for tomorrow. True, you have work. Yes, I do. Oh, Wait, I have Charles, to where are you? Presentation. There we go. I, I get blocked. But... Uh, oh, you're in now. No. I don't want to do my presentation. Valid. Also, the little pet swimming animations are adorable. I know. <laughs> some of them are better than others. Like, there are definitely some. Is, is your armadillo just floating there? Maybe. I think they're just floating. That's great. It yeah, looks no, like they're legitimately yeah. just, really just floating. Just float. He's just chilling. He just, yeah, he's chilling. Let him chill. Good chill. Ch Chancellor Blue. Bu? 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 Bo. Bo. Okay. Bo. I don't know how to English, especially a French word. Okay, I was going to say that. That is barely barely English. I didn't know how to say Carnot correctly, like the Carnot cycle. I was very happy about that. Yeah. Like, oh, I know what that is. That's that's Carnot. That's French. It's like the one French word I know how to pronounce that I don't say yeah. commonly. 
for anybody yeah. who doesn't know, the Carnot cycle is the cycle of um, reducing the pressure and volume slash temperature of a of a of an ideal gas, so you can make it like an engine. Make it like an engine. Yeah, you make it do engine things. It's it's a physics and chemistry thing. Okay. I know what the Carnot cycle is. I, I've never, I mean, I probably have heard the engine thing, but I don't. Elaborate. Yeah. I mean, you basically, Explain you take it. it, you take a gas and you put it through a whole bunch of different, um, I don't even know how to describe it. You, you put it through isothermal and adiabatic, um, transformations that right. cause it to give off and take in heat in a w- such a way that you could be using it to power an engine. So it's it's the way that we produce energy within an engine. Yeah. Yeah, with the heating and the cooling and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's fun. But the Carnot cycle is like for like an ideal gas. Where you don't lose any right. energy. Right, so that doesn't work. Enough. Yeah. So it's, it's theoretical. Gotcha. But it's still important. All the crustacean pincers are following the same cool. path. Is that what we're going to do today? Maybe you should look further. I think so. Starfish door. Okay. Yep. It's sending us all the way back to Rupert. Yeah, so yeah. that's where we're going to end stream today. Um, I will leave the Discord call. I will see you guys next week for more Wizards. Bye. 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 Okay, everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming to watch the Twitch stream today. Like I said, we'll be live again next week for more Wizard. Um, but we should also be live, gosh, um, the, either this weekend or next week Tuesday, depending on how my schedule goes. Actually, no, we're supposed to do Lethal Company on Sunday. So we should be live on Sunday for some Lethal Company with friends. Good to see you guys all. Um, let me, like, actually do the raid thing. Let me raid someone. We're going to go say hi to Will. He's doing some some Kingdom Hearts. Looks like he's doing a fundraiser for something. So yeah, go say hi to him. I'll see you guys on Sunday.